Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday. It's time for a review show special. Now, this is where I take a particular trick, a particular company, a particular creator, and I do a deep dive into that particular trick and spend a little bit more time talking about it than I would do on a normal review show with Ryland. And today we're going to be talking about a, uh, a trick that came out a couple of months ago through Vanishing Ink, sold out within 15 seconds, and it's just come back into... Uh, it's just come back into stock again now, and now it's available for more good magic dealers. We are talking about The Appearing Glass by Steve Thompson and Vanishing Ink. And on this video, I'm going to be talking to you about all about what The Appearing Glass is, whether it's any good, what you actually get with it. Uh, we're going to be covering absolutely everything. So if you've been interested in picking up The Appearing Glass by Steve Thompson, this is absolutely the video that you need to watch. So without further ado, let's get straight into this week's review show special. So there's been a lot of buzz about The Appearing Glass and uh, there's been a lot of videos online. I remember the first time I saw a video on it was Chris James put a video on his, uh, on his channel and it was a fantastic video that kind of... Uh, blew me away to be perfectly honest. So what is the appearing glass? Well, let me explain. Very briefly, you get in here two things. You get a bag and you get a glass. And and the routine is that you take out a uh, bag and you fold uh, a folded up bag and they can see it's completely empty. You open it up, you can show it's completely empty. And then at any point you want to, you can take an invisible glass, throw it up in the air, catch it, show your hand empty, you can reach in and you can take out the glass. You can even, if you wanted to, have the spectator reach in and take out the glass. I mean, that sounds impossible, right? And um, let's be honest, th th Steve Thompson is not the first person to play around with this plot. I remember Eugene Berger doing something like this. And the person that I seem to remember doing this an awful lot, um, it wasn't a glass, it was a bottle, but it was um, uh, Greg Wilson. I remember seeing him open a show and he said, hey, I've got a bag here. It's everything that you need to party. And he had a folded up bag. He opened it up and there was a party blower, there was a party hat, and then he brought out a big bottle of booze out of it. Um, th this is a, a, a different version to anything that I've seen before. A very, very different version. So there's two elements to this. Now, before we talk about these elements, I'm, I'm going to break down exactly what it is you get here. But before you, we talk about this, I'm going to show you a performance of this so you can see exactly what this looks like. So let's have a look at a performance of the appearing glass and then we'll bring it back to the review. How you doing, man? What? You good? Yeah, man. Got a bag? Okay. Now, okay. it's... <laughs> It's exciting. Good for you. There's a bag. It's like one of those bags that you have on the airplane when you sit. Yeah. But uh, I want you to see there's nothing inside there. Nope. Anything in there? Put your hand in there. Is there anything in there? No. Your hand's in there. <laughs> Come for the magic. Stay, stay for the, the comedy. comedy. Exactly. Now, uh, no do you, do, would you happen to have a pen or anything? A pen? Like a Sharpie marker. But it has to be a blue Sharpie marker. It also has to have magical powers imbued within it. Can you use that one? Until that that would work. It. Take that one for me. Yeah, yeah go for it. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, what I want you to do, if you can, is we're going to take the marker pen and I want you to take the lid off. Now, be careful because that has got magical powers inside it, so be very careful. Thank you. And what, what I want you to do is I want you to draw in front of you um, like a, uh, a glass. Draw a glass. A yeah, draw a glass. That's very good. And fill it about three quarters of the way up with water. That's amazing. Put the lid on the pen. You can keep the pen. Now you've got magic powers. Cool. Awesome. So here's what we're going to do, Matt. Where's the glass that you drew? There. What I want you to do is grab the glass. Use your imagination. Now be careful because obviously it's full of water. And then what I want you to do is try to keep it vertical because it's full of water. You're going to throw it up in the air and I'm going to try and catch it in the bag. Go. We're going to spill the water. It's fine. Go for it. Richard, look, look in there. <laughs> oh my God. Well done, man. Cheers. Yeah, I'm good, isn't I? You're great, man. Look at that. I, I did good that. to you. So that's, um, so that's the appearing glass. Now there's two elements to this. There's the glass 
and there's the uh, bot uh, there's the bag now first of all the glass is not gimmicked it's not gimmicked but it's made out of a very strong material that's very unlikely to break so you know when you're storing this in your case or whatever or you accidentally drop it um you're you're good to go now when you actually go through the production of this glass there's no there's nothing um, stopping the water from coming out, right? It's it at all. It's not like you. you I've seen uh, versions of this before. A lot of people like um, David Stone and people, Scott Alexander, when he was alive, had versions of making a shot glass, or, and not as big as this glass, but a shot glass up here, right? And um, and and they would have something on the top, like a piece of rubber or something, which would stop the water from coming out. You don't have that with this, but what you do have is you kind of have a stopper that goes into the top of the glass. Now, to be clear, I'm not giving away the method by saying that. The stopper is used so that you can carry the glass around until you want to perform it, which is a really clever idea with this. So when you actually do the trick, you don't need the stopper. The stopper is not used for the trick at all, but using the stopper makes this a very practical piece to perform in a mix and mingle situation, a table hopping situation, um, because you can have the glass in your pocket filled with water and this stopper, which is like really well made, will stop any water from coming out, even if you're kind of being animated and so on and so forth. But then when you want to go into this routine and you can go into this routine in the middle of your act, you can very easily routine a, a piece together that you do before this, which will allow you to get the glass into position because it takes like three seconds. Um, the stopper is then taken away. So I don't think I'm giving anything away by saying that you receive a stopper that's designed specifically to fit the glass because that stopper is just used to make the, the routine a lot more practical. Because a lot of the times when you make glasses appear, it's normally used as an opening bit on stage because you have to have the glass in a position to produce. And it means that... Um, and you can't really do anything else before this, but that's not the case with this. You can have it in a pocket or something, and then when you want to do it, you knock the stopper off and you're into the routine. So, But the glass itself is ungimmick. The stopper is being designed specifically fit inside the glass. Now, the other part of this is the bag. Now, the bag is gimmicked completely. Uh, however, it looks completely normal. You can show it from all four sides, and it looks like a normal bag really it doesn't look like anything special they've made the bag out of tyvek and the reason they've made the bag out of tyvek is it's going to last a long time um and you can see that it's going to be hard wearing they do say on the tutorial that when you first get the bag you want to work it in a little bit so it doesn't look as new as it as it is when it first gets to you um but the the, the bag itself looks really good now in terms of the actual trick it's gimmicked in a way it's gimmicked and it's designed in a way that the angles are pretty much non-existent. There's not really an angle issue because when you want to go into this, you open, you show that the bag's flat and Steve Thompson's a great teacher and goes through a lot of different subtleties with that. He talks about having a receipt in the bag so you can take the receipt out, maybe a pen in the bag, you can show the bag empty. Uh, but ultimately you, you show the bag, you bring the bag out, right? Um, and uh, and they, they can see it from all sides. There's not like any problems there and uh, and then at some point you're going to be in a situation where you've got the glass in play and I don't want to say how that happens but you're going to have the glass in play but the audience isn't aware that the glass is in play but here's the beautiful thing when it's in play it's not actually inside the bag so even when it's in play you could actually show the bag is empty in other words to be clear you can steal that glass and have it in position to produce, but still show the bag empty and still be in complete control of the angles because of how they've designed the bag. Even people standing on the extreme left and right will not be able to see that glass, even though the glass is in position to be produced, which is a genius thing with this bag, as far as I'm concerned. And you can still show the bag as empty, even though the bag, the, the, the thing's in position to be produced, which is great. And then because of how it's produced, anytime you want to, you can take an invisible glass, throw it up in the air, and you see that thump. It reminded me of um, Eric Morecambe. If you remember Morecambe and Wise, and Eric Morecambe used to do that bit all of the time where he had a paper bag and he'd take an invisible ball, throw it up in the air, and he'd click his fingers and you'd hear the ball go into the bag. Well, this is a similar thing, except it's actually a glass that's going into the bag that's filled with water. 
Um, so immediately then you can reach it. There's a couple of options. The first option is you can reach into the bag and you can take the glass out and you can again show the bag is completely empty, show it from all four sides, or if you wanted to, and this is genius, you could actually have them reach into the bag yourself. So they can reach into the bag, which you can't do with a lot of methods because a lot of the methods have a big honking hole at the back of the bag. So you couldn't have a spectator go in the bag because they, they either A, feel the hole, or B, they'd see the hole. But with this, as soon as that glass has been produced and they see it arrive in the bag, and, and a lot of routines don't have that appearance of the, the glass, uh, but this does, immediately you can, you can have them reach in and take the glass out, which is just genius. Now, I thought when I saw the trailer for this, this is, was just going to be a stage piece or a parlor piece at best or a cabaret piece. But in reality, this is something that you could do close up. This is something that would work great in a banquet situation. I don't think I'd want to do this mix and mingle um, or strolling because even though the angles are great, if there's people behind you, you're going to have problems. But if you're doing like a, a banquet table or you're doing uh, a bunco booth or you're doing a parlor show if you're doing a close-up show if you're doing something where you're in control of those angles then this is a really awesome um, trick to be able to put in 100% and it doesn't have to be an opener now for sure I think this is a great opener I think this is probably one of the best openers that you could do I mean talk about establishing credibility hey I'm going to make a glass appear and it's full of liquid you're welcome uh, yeah, it's a great, great, great production as an opening bit. But you can put it into the routine. You can put it into the act at any point you wanted to, if you wanted to. You can put it in halfway through. You can put it in towards the end. Because of the stopper that you get with the glass and because of the way that the production is designed, you could go into it at any point that you want. Now, in terms of the actual trick itself, the tutorial is about 20 minutes long, uh, which is all it needs to be. I don't remember seeing a live performance, but I might be wrong. I don't remember seeing a live performance, but it's shot really well. It's shot in a studio, uh, and uh, you know the person's there. Steve Thompson, I believe, is there, and he's going through everything with a fine tooth comb. Very articulate, very well explained. You get everything that is succinct. You get everything that you need, but he hasn't over elaborated and gone on for two hours. You get what you need in that 20 minutes and then you're excited to go out and perform this. Um, so for somebody who does, a, this is great for so many different people. It's great for close-up performers. It's great for stage performers, parlor performances. It's great for kids, magicians, family entertainers. Everybody is going to get something out of this. I think this is one of the best tricks that Vanishing Ink have bought out in the last year. I think in 2023, this is Vanishing Ink's trick of the year so far, in my opinion. I think it's great. It's very well made. And the price is is very good when you consider the quality of the props the bag is amazing the glass is amazing the stopper is amazing the tutorial is amazing um i'm going to give this 100 i think it's very very strong i think that you'll uh, there's going to be a lot of people you know you buy stuff and you get really disappointed and you put it in the bottom drawer i don't think anybody's going to be putting this in the bottom drawer i think this is something that they're going to be performing and they're going to continue to perform again and again and again so it gets 100 percent from me it's excellent it's called the appearing glass it's by steve thompson and vanishing ink so there you go, guys. That's another review show special in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again soon with another video. Don't forget, if you missed the Q&A at 12 o'clock today, you can go and check that out. And go and join the Netrix, www.thenetrix.com. Go and see what little fuss is about. And we've got a Discord there now. We're trying to make the number one Discord in magic, and we'd love you to help us. Either way, I'm going to be back again soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Craig. This has been a review. Review show special. I'll see you again.